The East Los Angeles Society of Film and Arts, better known as Telesofa, invites you today to provoke thought and inspire solutions. How's it going everybody? My name is Germán Suárez and welcome to HD Video San Diego. We took a little road trip today. We're coming at you from Los Angeles at the beautiful Paramount Picture Studios in Hollywood for the second annual International and Youth Film Festival. This is where young filmmakers not only have the chance to create a film of their own, but also to show it to their friends and loved ones, even sometimes people they look up to, directors or producers, even celebrities here at Paramount Studios. Not only that, but we're going to have a lot of music, we're going to have an award ceremony, we're going to have dancing. Please join us. I got my pass to Paramount. Now so do you. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to HD Video San Diego. Standing here with the brains, the man, the actor, one of the brains, one of the brains. <laughs> behind this incredible event, Jose Yenke. How's it going buddy? Oh, Good to see man. you. You know what? I, I've taken multitasking to the whole next level, man. We're actually, uh, Juan and I have you know, put this all together. We had a, you know, some help from some, some great, wonderful sponsors, as you can tell. Yeah. And um, we're just having a good time. You know, Absolutely. It's, it, the party's just getting started. So people are starting to roll in and uh, already some of the filmmakers are here. You Absolutely. see so yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we did see a couple of filmmakers. Now, you and I have been at uh, film festivals before. Yes. We just uh, finished the one in San Diego. Tell me why this one is unique to the San Diego Latino Film Festival, for example. Well, you know, you know, uh, we focus on, on the youth, and, and right. it's not just the, the, the teen filmmakers, which they're amazing teen, teen filmmakers here. We're showcasing some of their films, and they're not necessarily pros yet. Um, some of them are not necessarily even interested in, in really becoming actors or filmmakers, but it's just something that they decided to tell their stories. Um, some of them are from Garfield High School. There's another center, an after-school program called Santana House. They're here, and um, we focus on youth, focus on youth issues. So the films are not just made by teens; they're also made by adults. But they have to do something with a, a, uh, an issue that the youth are going through too. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to let you go. There's a line here waiting to get onto the red oh, carpet. We got, some good people. we got some good people coming on, so we're going to let you go. Stick with us, guys. HD Video San Diego with Jose Yenke. Hollywood is a doggy dog world, but only HD Video San Diego got the exclusive interview with Pasha, the newest canine star. Singer songwriter Daniel Munoz gave us the inside scoop on his unique stage name, El Ausente. My stage name is Daniel Munoz El Ausente, which means the absent one. The absent. Not because I'm absent, no, don't think, tampoco estoy zafadillo, but um, because. Um, I was born in San Miguel del Alto, Jalisco, but I was brought to the U.S. when I was one. So because of that, I, it took me a long time to get back to where I was, you know, where I was right. born. They, they decided, you know, we're going to put you El Hijo Ausente. You know, so it was, I'm like, oh, I don't like, I don't like any of those names, especially in the, like, Mexican music, right, the right. Spanish music. Yeah, they have all the they nicknames have, and the, yeah. They have the gallo, the toro, and all these Potrillo. animals. Potrillo. Exactly, all these animals. And I'm like, I don't want to be an animal. <laughs> you know, este. So then the, I'm like, fine, I guess. I'll do it for one show. Que me pongan el, el hijo ausente. And it actually got the name stuck. Yeah. And they took out the hijo and they left the ausente. Right. And everyone's all like, yeah, it's perfect because you're always on tour, you're always here, there, you're gone. Co-founder Juan Escobedo talked to us about using art and filmmaking as mediums to deliver a powerful message to our uh, youth. Because the youth, um, we, use, we use films and art as a medium to educate our youth. Right. And we want to also uh, show the youth that it is possible for them to be a filmmaker and actually work in Hollywood. Uh, so one of the things that we do is we use um, arts and film as a medium to teach prevention on HIV, STDs, teen pregnancy, Absolutely. substance abuse, gang Im involvement, give them an alternative, alternative to be able to focus their energy and attention into something else than, than being in the streets or experimenting with drugs or sex or getting Absolutely. pregnant, all that Absolutely. stuff. Standing here next to Jeremy Valdez, one of the stars of La Misión, which is one of the, I, I want to say one of the biggest Latino films of the year, uh, well actually of the decade, I yeah, mean, it is. Of, of the decade, um, it has so much culture behind it. Tell us a little bit about the film, maybe filming it, you know. Just well, we shot the film two years ago mm -hmm. in San Francisco, 
And, um, you know, we premiered it at Sundance in 2009, and then the entire last year we spent taking it around the world to various film festivals. And um, last week is when it, it premiered in Los Angeles and New York, and, and yep. then it, it's a, you know, a platform release, so it's going to various cities you know, every week, more cities Absolutely. and more cities and more cities, uh, kind of infecting the nation. So, um, with with Latino culture. So, um, you know, it's doing really, really well. Our box office numbers are great, and you know, it was it was a real pleasure to work on. Hi, my name is Jeremy Ray Valdez, and you're watching HD Video San Diego. Giving the name Cholo a whole new meaning is a not to miss series, Cholo Chaplin. Well, it's a shot all over LA and it's called The Misadventures of Cholo Chaplin and we follow Cholo Chaplin through his many adventures living in the city mm -hmm. and um, being harassed by the cops because he's actually a good guy. So we give the, uh, the, name, the Cholo name a new twist. Right. And they are a series of shorts and we have a new series of shorts coming out in next month Absolutely. and they will be in stores. Actor director Jesse Garcia gave us the inside scoop on what to expect from his latest PSA. It's, uh, it's just talking about the unnecessary uh, violence yeah. and different aspects of our lives that Absolutely. we shouldn't have to deal with or better, better ways to deal with it than, than yeah. what we are. To close out the film festival inauguration with a golden seal, Telesofa held an award ceremony. Guest speakers such as Maria Elena Chavez, Cesar Chavez's niece, were present. And while he did not have the privilege of receiving that formal education, he was self-educated. As an adult, he kept a library of books on many diverse issues. And he always spoke and wrote about the importance of education. And he was noted to say, quote, once social change begins, it cannot be reversed. Recognized through an award was Jaime Escalante, one of the most recognized educators in East Los Angeles. And, and so what we're doing is kind of like a little piece of his mission and I'm hoping that with this award we'll keep it alive forever as long as we stay alive forever well not us I mean the professional and and so that this name will just continue and people that our, our kids our grandkids and our great grandkids will continue to know what this man did and uh, inspire a bunch of us. Three alums of his were presented with the first ever Jaime Escalante Award. Hi my name is Gemma Leva Estrella I am a Garfield alumni and a graduate of Garfield High School and a former student of Mr. Escalante. Well, everybody, the night has come to an end. The red carpet is being rolled up. And all in all, this was an incredible event. Uh, it was an amazing turnout. I want to thank Jose Yenke, Juan Esquevedo, Paramount Studios. I want to thank Telesofa for giving us the opportunity to come capture these incredible moments. Uh, we talked to, we got to talk to some amazing people, filmmakers, young filmmakers, uh, celebrities, and the masterminds behind this incredible film festival. I want to remind you all that you can go to telesofa.org to learn a lot about it, and I want to thank you all for sticking with us. This is HD Video San Diego. My name is Germán Suarez. Have a good night.